Let's tie the knot. Hi friends, it's Anne from Veggie Manifique, your go-to for holistic wellness and vegan lifestyle. And today we're talking about our wedding. I'm so excited to share with you how we created or planned a vegan and as ethical as possible and as budget-friendly as possible wedding. We'll be talking food, cake, venue, attire, and more. So let's get started. So first of all, we got married in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, which meant that we were planning the whole wedding at a distance from Paris, which is tricky actually. Thank God we came across Chic Concepts after lots of research, uh, which is a wonderful duo of wedding planners named Patricia and Tamara, and they were so helpful with the whole process since we were so, so far away. And of course, this was the first time that my husband and I had ever planned a wedding. So they really worked hand in hand with us and and listened to what we were seeking to do because obviously we wanted to have a fully vegan wedding and so that meant that they had to do a little bit of extra work to find a caterer that could make vegan food and make sure that the chef at the villa could accommodate and a whole bunch of other things and they really listened and in the end when I think about like the the Pinterest board that we created they really really did help us to create exactly what was on that Pinterest board because we really wanted the wedding to be vegan obviously but also you know minimalist and cozy that was like what we were seeking and uh, and they totally just magically created that for us I'm eternally grateful so thank you Patricia and thank you Tamara okay so let's talk about venue venue is super important for a wedding and for us we got married at Via Celeste which is in Puerto Vallarta and actually Via Celeste is kind of like the reason or the big reason that we wanted to get married in Puerto Vallarta because my dear friend Sydney had gotten married there like five years prior and it was magical and so I knew that this spot was really what we were looking for for our intimate wedding because it was a really small wedding we had under 40 people and what was so great about Via Celeste is that a there is a chef there whose name is Rodrigo and he's amazing a true artisan of food and he was able to make vegan food for us delicious vegan food not just like weird makeshift vegan food he was really talented and very accommodating super nice guy and he would like sing in the kitchen it was amazing but another reason why we chose Via Celeste is that it was a one-stop shop so first off we got married at Via Celeste we had the reception we had the rehearsal dinner and my spouse's family and my family were able to stay in the villa itself so it was perfect and that it was really a one-stop shop and plus there's a pool on the terrace and so two things our friends could pop over and jump in the pool at any time and hang out with us which was amazing and also at the end of the wedding everyone jumped into the pool because let me tell you some it was hot it was scorchingly hot it was so hot and you'll see it in the photos my hair was like frizzy everybody was frizzy it's just like that's just what we were dealing with because when you get married in Mexico in August sorry guests I'm sorry but that was the month that worked for for most people and so we just had to kind of roll with it and uh, I think everyone handled the heat really well though thank goodness that we were all able to jump in the pool at the end of the at the end of the wedding actually And one thing I want to say is that when you're having a destination wedding, your venue is really important because things can get really expensive very fast, as you know about weddings. And since we had one venue for like every single event, it was just perfect. And it really facilitated the whole destination wedding thing. Plus, it gave us a spot to like commune with all these special people that had come to our wedding because everyone could just come to the villa and hang out with us. And that's that's one of the, like the beauties of having a destination wedding, isn't it, right? Because you can really spend quality time with your close friends and family, as opposed to like a one day wedding where you just kind of have a really long day and it's cool, we had like several days where we got to see many of our near and dear, so it was amazing. The thing about having a wedding of under 40 people, as I'm sure you can imagine, is that the hardest thing is the guest list. And people always say that, but it's actually very true. <laughs> because we all know and love so many people, and when it comes down to places at a table and ambiance that you're seeking to create and how intimate do you want it versus how big and boisterous and that was a real challenge but that goes without saying so 
I love all my friends and family, but this was kind of, had to be a really, a really small, small group. So the rehearsal dinner was one of my favorite moments because Patricia and Tamara found us a taco bar. So there were an abundance of delicious vegan toppings that you could pop into your flour or corn tortilla. Everything was like option gluten-free and actually later I'll talk more about the gluten-free thing, but my brother's gluten-free, one of my friends Brooke is gluten-free and so it was important to, you know, make sure that we were accommodating to people. But also, I mean, in Mexico it's great because so much of the cuisine is actually inherently gluten-free so that worked out well I didn't get as many tacos as they would have liked because I was busy running around being a hostess or whatever but they were good the like one and a half that I had they were fantastic <laughs> so thank you Carla who was the wonderful mastermind behind the vegan taco bar so let's transition to the vegan food at the wedding itself so we had to find a chef that was willing to do vegan food because we didn't find just a vegan caterer in Puerto Vallarta if we had gotten married in say LA or someplace where there's a lot more kind of like of a vegan scene I think that would have been easier but you know that wasn't the case so our wedding planners were super helpful and they linked us up with a young up-and-coming chef who could do vegans gratefully the night we arrived in Puerto Vallarta we were able to do a tasting so two parts to this whole tasting thing. So the food at the tasting was excellent. And the portions were a little small, but they're like, no, 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 don't worry. This is just for the tasting. And of course at the wedding, the, the portions will be larger. And we're like, okay, great. And then another thing that Arnold and I were trying to create was a delicious menu but also a healthy menu because like both of us are health coaches and so it was kind of like we eat healthy food we want the food to be delicious but we also want it to represent you know who we are like we we are into healthy eating and whole food plant-based food is like our jam so so that was one element we were kind of working with with the chef so at the tasting there was a little bit too much oil and a little bit too much salt so we told them okay this is great but there's a little bit too much oil a little bit too much salt and the tofu needs a little bit more marination marination because it didn't really have much flavor because again if you're you know not a vegan chef you might not know how to cook tofu so you know we gave them some some tips and in the end the tofu actually ended up being fine but one thing about the wedding that I wasn't necessarily entirely jazzed about was the fact that the day of the wedding the food wasn't copious in my opinion, like the portions weren't that much bigger, um, only slightly, and then they overcompensated and didn't put any oil or any salt, hardly. And uh, most of the guests weren't vegan, so I don't feel like they were wowed. I feel like they had like a detox moment at our wedding, which, you know, is, is okay, and no one complained, no one said anything, even a couple people said, oh, it was delicious. But just me and my standards, I wished it had been A, more copious, and be m more delicious, like a little bit more salt and a little bit more oil because they really just pulled all of that out of the food. So yeah, plus we didn't have alcohol at our wedding and at the tasting they gave us two delicious little mocktails. One was like a mojito with like passion fruit. It's like almost like boba, which was good. And then the other one was like a lemon orange thing. It was so good, it was my favorite. And then the day of the wedding, they didn't have that drink. I was like, where's the drink? And I was too busy getting married to like micromanage things, nor would it have been a good idea for me to micromanage anything about the wedding really. So yeah. I didn't, I didn't ever get the skinny on where my favorite drink disappeared to and I wasn't gonna make a fuss about it. So just to summarize with the food, uh, it was it was, it was was okay, it was okay. It wasn't fantastic and I really would have loved to have wowed the guests, but there just there just wasn't anyone in Puerto Rico that could make that kind of fantastic vegan food. We had to work with a chef who was totally not familiar with making, you know, vegan food. So it was just okay. So sorry guests, I would have loved to have cooked for you all. I would have, would have loved that, but uh, I I was busy getting married, so I just had to delegate and I just had to surrender to the whole thing. Okay, so let's talk about the cake. Oh man, at the tasting, they brought, so we had two cakes. We had a vanilla mango and a chocolate fudge cake. And they brought the two cakes at the end of the tasting to try and I was like, oh, cake. Cause like, cake is my life. And they were bad, they were so bad. And I was like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? I can't have bad cake at our wedding. Cake is a big thing for me and the cakes were bad. They were dry, 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 dry. And it's obvious because, again, this was a baker that the, the chef had found who didn't know how to make vegan cakes. He was just like removing the eggs and butter and dairy and not knowing how to, you know, replace the moisture. So they were just really dry. And at this point, I, you know, I called the chef over and I was like, 
Yeah, um, the cake is not the best. You know, I was being really diplomatic. I was like, the cake, it needs a little bit of work. And they were like, yeah, what do you suggest? And I was like, oh my gosh, uh, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, can I email you some recipes that you can try, you know? Uh, because I was I was just like, I, I don't know how I'm gonna accept that we're gonna have crap cake at the wedding. And so I emailed the chef two recipes from Minimalist Baker because we all know that she is a master at vegan cakes, right? And she uses like applesauce and other creative ways to create fluffy, moist cakes. And so I emailed those to the chef and then I just had to wait and see. Okay, the suspense, right? In the end, the cake was exquisite. Both of them were fantastic. The vanilla mango was gluten-free, and then the only gluten really that we had at the ceremony was the chocolate cake, because I really, I really wanted gluten for that cake. <laughs> I wanted it to be like, cakey, because chocolate cake is my favorite. So it was actually, it was fantastic. And the vanilla cake was fantastic. So they, 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 they actually took our feedback and they made scrumptious cakes and everybody loved the cake. I only got a few bites, sadly, because again, I was busy being a bride and running around and making sure everyone was happy. And so the tragedy of it all is that I didn't actually get more than like a few bites of each cake. But that's not important. What's important is that all of our guests had a fantastic cake experience. So I feel much better about that. So thanks to the cake, I feel less bad about the food. Again, the food was okay. It was okay. It was just not mind blowing. Okay, so let's talk about our vegan attire for the wedding. So, as you know, if you've been following Veggie Magnifique, I made a whole video all about my vegan gown, where I found it, where it's from. It's a Truvel gown, handmade in Canada, and I found it at the lovely Plume shop in Paris, in Montmartre. And so I will link that for you to check out that video because I explained all about the dress and we even interviewed the lovely woman at the boutique. For Arnold, it was a bit trickier because we obviously didn't want a wool suit for two reasons. Number one, it's not vegan. Number two, it was hot. It was really hot. Super duper incredibly hot. And so we had to find something where he would be comfortable for the wedding. And obviously that meant like a linen suit, right? So we did a lot of research and it was tricky. It was tricky to find something that was like kind of ethical and sustainable, but also not a billion dollars. It was tricky. So in the end, we found his suit on a site called Hawker Tee, which basically you customize everything about your suit suit down to the buttons, like everything. You could do different colors on your lapel or the, the button thread color, like it was very customizable, which is great. So then Arnold and his brother slash best man could customize their suits, but make sure that they looked unified. Hawker Tea is a Swiss company, but their tailors are in Shanghai and they pay fair wages. So it's a more sustainable company. And so that made us feel good. And then also, of course, it was within our budget, which was Nice. So shoe-wise, I wore my Minuit Sur Terre sandals that I got in Paris and I will link a video all about that. And Arnold wore his Ney shoes that he got when we were in Portugal when we visited their shop and found these lovely soft brown shoes. So he wore those for the wedding and they were perfect. We actually thought we were going to be barefoot on the beach, but because of all the tourists on the beach and you can't privatize the beach, and since it was the last weekend of vacation in Puerto Vallarta for the locals, it was like everybody was on the beach and it would have been noisy and tricky but in the end actually having the wedding on the terrace was perfect because we were able to have a lovely tent and we had so few guests that we all fit real cozy like right in front of the pool and uh, I don't think I would have it any other way so plus no sand everywhere you know it all worked out you can do some research on Ney and Minmi Sorter which are two fantastic vegan shoe brands and they're just great vegan shoes so check those out so makeup I did my own makeup I Usually don't like how other people do my makeup, and so I did my own. And I have obviously vegan makeup, Couleur Caramel, I have Gabrielle products, I use like a Zuzu uh, liquid eyeliner, and uh, yeah, so I just did my normal thing, but look a little bit more intense. And I also got vegan eyelash extensions at Deanna's Radiance Wellness Spa. I'll link the video that I made with Deanna, she's fantastic. And she recently started offering vegan extensions, so I was super excited because, 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 eyelash extensions means that you're not wearing mascara, not wearing mascara means that you're not gonna end up looking like a raccoon when you inevitably cry. And uh, that crying thing totally happened. And I didn't look like a raccoon, so it was fantastic. And I kind of felt like a giraffe, like a giraffe in a good way, like a, like a good giraffe. <laughs> it was fabulous. 
So the hair thing was uh, tricky. It was kind of like the afterthought, last minute, what do we do about the hair thing? And the weather, as I said, was incredibly humid and incredibly hot. And the wedding planners found a salon that were like, yeah, we use vegan products. And then they showed up and I'm not entirely sure that the products that they were using were vegan because it was only later that I was like, eh, I'm not really sure. You do the best you can. And that's the thing with weddings, but also with like vegan living. You always, always do the best you can, right? You always do the best you can. But I highly recommend Giovanni products. They're fantastic vegan hair products. And uh, my hair is just not like cooperative. I just want to say <laughs> it's frizzy inherently and since it was humid, I kind of knew, I kind of knew that there was nothing that we could really do, you know, to keep it maintained. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was just a total frizzy disaster, but you know, it's okay. I, I'm I'm not too phased about it, you know, like it was it was flowy. It was frizzy and flowy, so at least there was there was some flow. And in the first like you know, maybe 40 minutes it looked good. Okay, so just really quick, let's talk about my ring. So my ring is not a diamond, otherwise that would mean I'm probably loaded. Hold on. Can you see it? So I love my ring. It's a beautiful aquamarine that comes from my mother-in-law and it's a very special story. And I'm just, I'm so happy that I get to wear her ring and it's its a really light blue color. Uh, and it's beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. So uh, very grateful. And uh, in terms of my alliance, in terms of my wedding band, uh, my wedding band is from Majuri. So Majuri is a cool kind of eco jewelry brand that's more transparent and they don't use any blood diamonds or anything. So this is just a band with a bunch of little pave diamonds, which I love because, for example, when we've been traveling, I haven't been like wearing around my big old rock because that's just inviting kind of like issues, right? When you're traveling and whatnot. So I've just been wearing my wedding band, which is so lovely in its own right. So that's been that's been fantastic. So I love both of them. Thank you to my lovely mother-in-law for, for this beautiful ring that I will forever treasure. So there you have it. Those are the ins and outs of our vegan wedding. One thing I want to say really quick is that having a vegan wedding is not as difficult as you think. It really isn't. You just have to make sure that you have a cooperative team on your side and then do a little bit of research and have conversations about, hey, can you do this vegan? Like with my belt, for example, there was a belt that came with my dress that was in silk and I asked the woman, hey, I, I don't want to wear silk. Is there any way you could procure a non-silk belt? And she was like, of course. And then with our caterers, for example, they were able to create a spread that again, wasn't necessarily the best food ever, but that was vegan and healthy and nutritious. I think a lot of people worry that their kind of carnivorous family members are gonna throw a fit. And one thing I just wanna say is that, is it their wedding, you know, is it their wedding? No, it's not their wedding, you know? And having a wedding that's in line with your ethics, I think is really, it's really important so that you remember your special day with fondness and that you know it was cruelty free and that, you know, no beings were harmed in the wedding, which makes you feel super good and sleep well at night. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about how to have a vegan wedding or any other questions about our wedding, make sure to leave them below. I'd be happy to talk more about it because obviously it was a lovely day. And if you guys want any more content about the wedding, just let me know. I was thinking about maybe making a what I would have done differently had I known video because, you know, surely there are a few things that I would have done differently, but you live and learn, right? If that would be interesting to you, let me know, and we will see you next week on Veggie Manific TV. Bye!